Hi, I'm Tim Stutt. I'm the editorial director for R&D Magazine, and we're at PitCon 2014 in Chicago, and we're here with Gene Tetro, uh, who's senior technical director at Accelerus. And uh, Gene, what do you got new to tell our people? Well, this week uh, we're announcing a new uh, mobile application which runs on Windows 8.1, and this mobile application gives you the ability to capture data in the laboratory. So. Um, it's part of our bigger offering that Accelerus has, which, you know, if you look at the big picture of Accelerus, we're, we're really managing um, all of the, the process across the entire scientific uh, continuum, from research all the way to manufacturing. And in this, you know, in this continuum, we have a lot of software. We have modeling and simulation software, research informatics, laboratory informatics, quality management, EHS, and operations intelligence. But specifically, data capture or Accelerus capture um, operates in the laboratory informatics area. And so um, if we look at the laboratory informatics area, we can kind of break it down into four main parts. We, we like to really, uh, in a simplified way, look at planning, managing, executing, and reviewing, right? So when we think about planning, we're thinking about the work that we're gonna do in our office. So uh, maybe we're sitting down with our electronic lab notebook, our ELN, and we're setting up an experiment. And with this experiment, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna require that maybe we prepare some samples or we're going to uh, make something experimentally, we're gonna test something. Um, and then ultimately, we need to ask the folks in the lab to do that work. And so that's where the manage piece comes in. And when we think about management, we're thinking about who's gonna do the work, where are they gonna do the work, um, when does the work need to be done, um, and our LIMS application and our work request, uh, work management application take care of that. But specifically where Accelerus Capture comes into play is in the lab. So now if I get into the lab, I pick up my um, mobile device and I'm gonna walk around the lab. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what work I have assigned to me. And then I can walk around the lab freely with my mobile device in my hand, you know, and I can record information that ultimately will go back into my experiment that was set up in my ELM. Um, and so, what kind of things do I want to capture in the lab? I would capture things like observations, I would capture data that's coming from instruments, I would capture pictures, maybe there's something that's interesting with uh, my experiment, maybe my sample is not behaving the way I would expect it to, or maybe it's behaving exactly the way I would expect it to and I want to capture that. We would use the Accelerus Capture application to do that. Now once I'm done doing that work in the lab, I would then ultimately um, mark my work complete and somebody would come in and review that. And typically that work's done at my, in the office as well. Okay. So the mobile is really the, the powerhouse that's driving your new innovation, right? The mobile devices um, have really come a long way in the past, say, five years, right? And everybody that you know and I know has a mobile device, right? Somebody's walk, people are walking around with phones and um, with iPads and whatnot. And, um, We've, we've now taken our scientific software and we've adapted it so that it works on mobile devices. And so now you don't have to sit at a computer terminal in the lab, you can actually walk around the lab freely and capture the data that you want to uh, capture. Now what are, the, what are the benefits of that? Well today, believe it or not, most labs in the world are paper-based. In the world that we live in today, most labs are paper-based, which is unbelievable. Um, so everything that they write down on paper has to be transcribed into the ELM or scan. And if you have to scan it, then you also have to keep an archive of it. So there's all sorts of compliance around managing that paper. So if you can capture directly into the tablet device without writing it down, the compliance risk goes way down as well. And that's a big benefit for pharmaceutical companies where you know obviously the FDA and other regulatory um, agencies are trying to uh, ensure that the uh, laboratories are, are running GMP um, compliant. Okay. Is it pretty easy to capture the information? Yeah, I mean, that's another thing too, is that, you know, with the, the, the innovations that have been made in the mobile devices, mobile devices have cameras built right into them, so it's a matter of just clicking and capturing a picture, just like you would if you were capturing a picture of one of your friends, right? Now I'm going to capture that picture, and the nice thing is, is that it's not then resident on the device. It's taken, the data is taken immediately from the device and transferred wirelessly to the ELN in the secure database in the ELN. 
So uh, if I were to drop the device or if I were to take it home, all of the secure data that's associated with the work I'm doing in the lab is going to be stored in the database. Um, in addition to the ability to take pictures very easily, I can also write. So, you know, the adoption in the laboratory, you know, there's a spectrum of folks in the lab, right? Some of them are younger, where they'll pick up devices and just use them, and others may be a little bit older, um, and they're, they're not really uh, adapting to the technology maybe as fast. So they could take the stylus out, and they can write notes, and that information is automatically converted into to, uh, computer text, and that's what gets stored in the database. So again, the compliance and the adoption um, are both uh, uh, aspects of that.